Hi, my name is Matt Cameron. I'm the VP of Product Development here at Sigma Design. I'd like to focus this edition on prototype builds and how our expertise in this area benefits many of our varied customers. As an engineering firm focused on providing services that span all aspects of product development, we live by the mantra, prototype early and prototype often. It's critical that we determine what works and what doesn't work about the device we are developing. For this reason, we have established a diverse set of prototype services to support our customers, and we provide all scale of these builds. A small scale build might simply be uh, one engineer at a workbench putting together some parts for the first mechanical fit check. A large scale build could include a full team of trained technicians and process engineers test engineers occupying tens of thousands of square feet, maybe involving a clean room, robotic assembly aids, calibration stations. Across all the groups here at Sigma, we've got a huge amount of experience to bring to bear on any given prototyping effort. It's exciting to be able to interact with those people on a daily basis and juggle the variation that comes with prototyping. You never know what is going to work and what is not going to work. You don't get to the end in one go. It takes a series of prototype builds to make things work right and have a viable consumer product at the end of it. With various clients, our prototyping services have included bringing up facilities specifically to support their prototype build needs. In one example of a series of prototype builds that we did for a customer, we started off with just a few folding tables in the beginning, and then about eight or nine months later, we had a dedicated part of our facility where we had 15 technicians and engineers assembling devices in the low thousands of units. Some of these prototype build efforts are literally years in length. You start off early stage with the concepts, and a year and a half later, you are using production materials, production electronics, and production fixtures and test systems to do the final prototype build just before handing off to the contract manufacturer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the President's Corner. I'll catch you later.